Hi, Taurus, the Awakened Dreamer here. To give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of December 13th to the 19th, 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, it's going to be a very passionate and strong kind of week for you. All right. Um, don't forget that this is general for the week for you. So don't stress over what doesn't resonate. Just take what does. As I make a bit of a mess. Um, anyways. Don't forget to check out your other placements within your chart for more messages. And if you do wish to book a personal reading with myself, the options pricing in my email uh, are within the description box. Just reach on out. I'd be a bit of a storyteller this week or feeling it very personable in one way, shape, or form. Going back and forth in your mind about a situation that you know you need to part ways with eventually or it just confuses you in a lot of ways. Interesting. It's already coming out. We're going to begin by pulling the um, overall energy slash focus for the week from the Green Witch Oracle deck. We'll continue by pulling the main part of the reading from the Gilded um, Tarot deck. And then we'll pull some inspiration, words of wisdom to wrap it up with the Find Your Happy deck. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't want to forget to say that. Um, show your love and support on this channel. All right. I love doing Taurus readings. For my lovely Tauruses. Yeah, it's part of you that's going to be pushed to be a little bit goofy this week or a little bit just to have some fun in situations that feel a bit, I'm hearing mundane or just kind of like blah. Yeah, it's like your work situation or something. Could be a relationship or connections, but it feels very dry. And it's just like, come on, let's spice it up. I'm feeling passionate, feeling motivated desire so yeah it's a very productive week Ooh, and an agreement that you're making with the universe with yourself to stay committed to something or to begin something new Ooh, you could be making an agreement with a specific somebody because there's a level of attraction that is just being drawn to you people are finding you very attractive even though you're still blossoming even though you are being very honest with the fact that you don't have it all figured out yeah, there's a focus on continuance and transition. It's like as you're tra transitioning and there's a focus on your happiness, you just don't know if you should continue something anymore. You want to, but then you don't. You want to, and then you don't. Just ask yourself, what makes you happy? I feel like some of you are going to be like, well, money makes me happy. Okay, well, that's not going to make you fulfilled in the end. There's more to it than that. There's some reflecting that needs to take place. Do you trust yourself to make the right decision? Do you trust this person you're making an agreement with or getting closer to? Wow. What do you desire? You're going to see a lot of threes this week reminding you of how connected you are as well. How successful you are meant to be that keeps coming up in your readings. But what do you desire? Who do you desire at this point? There's a reason for it. Uh, do you have enough time and space within your schedule and your your day, your routines to, to focus on these desires? I, I feel like the answer is no. Something needs to change. Wow. Sorry, the table's kind of dirty. Courage, you might find that you don't have a lot of time to clean this week or want more time to clean things up. I'm trying to clean up your schedule as well, your routines. Very interesting. There's something about seeing the future. Fortune telling. I don't know why that's coming through. I'm seeing like a crystal ball. Um, needing to, we're wanting to uh, desire to understand the future, how things are meant to unravel moving forward before you let go of something or start something new or even with somebody specific. There's love in the air, Taurus. Wow. Yeah, there's a need to have courage. You could be feeling a bit impatient, having a lot going on. Um, or there's somebody impatient around you. You need to have courage when it comes to all you want to go after. You need to remember to eat. Wow, I don't know why it's coming through. My stomach's grumbling and I forgot to eat breakfast before I did these. You're going to have so much going on this week that you're going to forget a meal. Or you're going to forget to take care of oneself in that sense. Don't forget to drink water this week. People are very attracted to you. I don't blame them. It's more than just your looks. It's your way of being. It's your presence, the way you walk into a room. It's the way you utilize your mind, your wisdom. It's the stories you tell. 
the experiences you've gone through, all of which add up to you being a very complete and attractive package. Somebody notices that. I mean, more than one people do this week, but there's somebody that has their eye on the prize and you're that prize. Wow. All right, let's see here. To continue for Taurus for this upcoming week, I just got the goosebumps. Somebody's giving you butterflies. Somebody wants to travel with you. Okay. Pulling the last two right here. Okay, so yeah, hint of emotions or secrets. Yeah, an underlying focus on what needs to come to an end and what you want to put to rest. I'm seeing somebody go oop and like push the tower over. And it's like this almost comical way of spirit saying like, you know what needs to happen. It's literally that easy. Just do it. You know, when you feel it's right, just do it. But it's like you keep getting that push throughout the week. Like you can't keep this going, keep this going if you know it's not meant for you in the long run. If you don't have enough time for your desires. But it just feels like it's a very, very busy week. A lot of messages coming and going when it comes to somebody that desires you. Or somebody you desire could be bold. Feeling quite trapped in another situation all the meanwhile. It feels like you're within a job that leaves you feeling a bit restricted or trapped. And messages are coming and going between you and a potential loved one. Or someone you just truly care about in one way, shape, or form. It's like they make you shine from within. They make you glow. They improve your day in a lot of ways. But also, when it comes to that situation that you want to let go of that's restricting, it could even be a living situation, something of the sort. For some of you, it is a connection. Whatever it ends up being for you, you need to ask yourself, what do I desire and how do I make room for it? How do I make time for it? What needs to be released to make room? There is a focus this week as well on blockages just being released due to uh, your vibes. You know, you just feel like you did the necessary work previously. That's for some of you. But remember I was saying fortune telling, wanting to see the future, that crystal ball. It feels like you're very blinded to how things are meant to unravel or the future of that connection. Or just your future in general. Even if you pull tarot cards, it's like, Damn, why does things have to be so confusing? Why do, why can't I just have a full picture of how things are meant to unravel? How things are going to be successful? Don't compare to the past. With the Six of Wands, you're being put in the spotlight. I just saw somebody taking a bow. Uh, being pushed to enjoy the fact that you are on stage this week, especially if you have an online business. Uh, if at work, people just being like, well, damn, you kind of have that magic touch or you just know what you're doing, even if you fake it to a certain extent. Does that make sense? Like at my full-time job, I uh, don't know much about what I talk about, but I fake it and it works and I still get the job done at the end of the day. It's, uh, it's that kind of feeling. If some of you know an immense amount, uh, have a huge um, knowledge bank is what they're saying, uh, when it comes to what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. But for some of you, it's that fake it until you make it or fake it to be successful kind of way of being. But you need to have courage when it comes to being put in the spotlight. Something to do with birds that are going to stop you in the moment or nature in, in and of itself. Wow, things could feel a bit messy this week. And it's odd moments like that where it just stops you in the moment to catch your breath. It's going to be this sort of serene moment when you are put in the spotlight. All the meanwhile, it feels like a bit of a whirlwind around you. And people just noticing you in such a talented, successful light. Good for you. But there are habits we need to work on still. As you finish up the week with the moon card. Feeling a bit emotional. I feel like it's due to being overtired, overworked, overstressed. Um, you could be stressing yourself out in your mind when it comes to uh, the person you're attracted to or that is attracted to you. You need to have courage to be honest with oneself again as to what needs to change, what isn't working for you moving forward. Um, it feels like there is a level of secrecy between you and the universe. Uh, not between, trust me. The universe, is, the spirit knows what's going on in your head, what you're sorting through, how you're feeling. It more so feels like their secrecy uh, is, uh, their secrecy on, on their end. Very interesting. I didn't really love that wording, but don't stress over wording this week as you're being, you're thinking a lot about the world traveling different parts of the world and where you want to end up at the end of the day. 
very interesting. Again, somebody who you're attracted to, you're going to be traveling with them in the near future. And I do feel like that's meant to be in a lot of ways. The, this desire to travel, to experience new things, new places, new cultures with somebody that you care about. Um, it feels like your world is changing in a lot of ways and you have way too much going on. But I can't stop looking at this attraction card. And I don't think that's just because of you. I think I have this kind of giddy smile on my face. It's going to be a very um, interesting week to say the least. Wow. Just wow. You're amazing people this week. Difficult, situa difficult situations lead to divine solutions. Excuse me. Yeah, so it's whatever's leaving you trapped or just certain obstacles throughout the week that aren't fully apparent to those around you. Some it is. But yeah, just allow yourself to focus on the healing that needs to take place. Uh, it may be a bit harder because you have so much going on. One more. We're not ending on that note. Out of difficulties, grow new beginnings. I trust the process. There's a focus this week, a push to begin something new. To, again... Push that tower to, uh, over, push it down. Allow yourself to make the change that you know is necessary. My life is a courageous, creative adventure. All right. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Taurus.